to the first squad cast. I'm Camille Salazar Hadaway. Joining me is Alex Radpuppy, as well as Brody Levex Moore, and we have Eric Caboose Koss. Koss. I always say Koss. Oh. I don't know why. Can you just change your last name to Koss? Sure. Sure. <laughs> 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 All right, so this is the first um, squad cast where obviously we're a part of the squad family. So we're now having podcasts, which is just seems pretty weird because I feel like we all have these discussions or like some of us when we get together, we like have very long discussions about what's going on in the gaming industry in our world. Mm. Um, but why don't we actually introduce ourselves a little bit about what we do just because, you know, this is the first episode. I feel like people should know who we are. Yeah. already know right no, well well let me let me do the yeah, introduction on, Chad, do your research do your research <laughs> no you know what i'm gonna do an introduction for brody okay because brody just did this so um brody is a host on squad or the television show the end alongside no. <laughs> me but fun fact that you didn't know brody does not wash his hands when he's done in the washroom there we go we have what? it no, I didn't we have it what? no no oh, i didn't right. whoa, 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 <laughs> no i'm putting it out there i'm putting it out that's there. not even close to true <laughs> That's you, not even just, you just you just I wash my hands every single time I go to the washroom. I didn't just go to the washroom. You you just where, where, You think where, I can go to the washroom within 10 seconds? Is. I don't know, man. That's why I asked if you wash your hands and you said no. You said no. You're really making things up right now. Okay, fine. I, Fake news. Okay. I didn't I didn't make it up. You made it seem like you went to the <laughs> okay. washroom because I asked okay. you, did you wash your hands? Oh my god, we're going to start arguing again. This is this is me and Brody. This is me and Brody. This is how it goes. Yeah, I'm always having to defend fake news. What? Defend fake news? Oh, my God. Someone else talk. Someone else talk. I can't deal. I can't deal. <laughs> what has this become? We're not even 10 minutes in. No, this uh, is what it is. Mom, Dad. <laughs> Stop fighting. <laughs> Mom, Dad. Uh, chat's all up in oh here. Oh, my God. <laughs> so uh, we That's have crazy. quite a few people in chat. Um during a pandemic, Brody, I know, shame on him, right? Unreal. Uh, <laughs> it's fake news. Unreal. You just you gotta sing happy birthday while you. Yo, while cancel you culture is toxic to me. <laughs> <laughs> you no, okay, fine. Brody washes his hands, just not when he's picking his nose. So uh, let's move on <laughs> to what we're going to actually be discussing today. So um, today we have a, a couple of topics. So wh who wants to start? Who wants to start with the first one? Should we get into the first one? Sure. Do what, that. What? What, what do we want our first one to be? We well, have a lot to talk about here. Caboose, we, let's start with you, man. Yeah. No? Okay. You want to start with me? Yeah, let's start sure. with you, because I feel like Brody okay. may take up a lot right. of time complaining let's about this topic. Me. So since he's already <laughs> pissed off, let's just do it. Uh, well, I wanted to ask you guys what your predictions, hopes, thoughts are for the Xbox Showcase. I mean, we're 10 days away. Yeah. And I feel like this is like the make or break for Xbox. I feel like... They've maybe already passed that point, but this is for sure the make or break for the sell of this console. And I'm just wondering, like, what you guys are hoping for or mm -hmm. what you what you would want to happen to, to sell you on getting a Series X. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go last on this. Oh, like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, I feel like he has a lot to say, but this I is all, it, Caboose, you're bringing this up because the Xbox Showcase yeah. is happening on July 23rd, I believe. Um, that's the date. Yeah. So, you know, we have a whole bunch of anticipation of what we want to see, but what do you think we will see? Um, Alex, I feel like you were about to step in there. Do you have something to say about, like, what you expect? Uh, yeah, I was going to say I haven't had an Xbox since, <laughs> like, high school. Yeah, and I, I think all I did was play like Left 4 Dead on it. Oh, um, so I really have no hopes game. for the Xbox. I'm most likely not going to get one. No. Okay, side what note, if... before we get too sidetracked, have you heard about the new Left 4 Dead type game that's coming out from the guys who made Left 4 Dead? No. Is it for the, the... Xbox? I d no, it's not exclusive. No. <laughs> as far as I know. Did they um, say, imagine it's, it's if called... it is, though, would you get an Xbox if they bring that game and it's pretty much like Left 4 Dead? Like, it looks like Left 4 Dead. That'll, that might connect to a future topic. That question you just asked, Camille. It could. Um, mm -hmm. Probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Still wouldn't be enough. Okay. okay. <laughs> Camille, before we, we shut, uh, if you have anything, get it out of the way now. If there's anything you're looking for, <laughs> before, oh before Alex and I shut you down on why you should Oh, my one. gosh. Okay. <laughs> wow. So I, 
I, I think it's important for chat to know that out of the four of us, Kabuz and I are probably the console gamers um, of uh, the group here. Although, Brody, I know yeah. you do play PlayStation, but you're a PC guy, right? So um, mm. for me, I feel like I, I own both a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One X. So I do love both can consoles. However, I feel like Xbox really needs to showcase something really big. So yes, we need to see Halo. We need to see a lot of Halo. Um, I think we need to really get good gameplay out of Halo Infinite in order to get people hyped because that's yeah. the thing. Xbox, they have good games. They've been buying up so many different studios that there is really a lot there. I want to see more of the Cuphead show. What are we going to see there? Um, that's unrelated to the actual console, but I want to see what they're doing <laughs> with all their different IPs, what they're doing with all their different studios. And I am just hoping, hoping that, you know, they bring something forward that's going to get a lot of people excited because uh, it's, it's really hard when PlayStation kind of showed up, you know? Yeah, I, I mean... Listen, I, I have an Xbox One X. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Uh, it's the console I primarily play on for cross-gen games, um, unless it's like Warzone or something, which I yeah. play on PC. Um, I, I admit, though, although I play a lot of Xbox, that PlayStation, they've won the console generation. And, like, let's just be honest. Right now, there's not too much incentive to get yeah. an Xbox Series X. Halo... We haven't seen any gameplay, but like it's Halo, so I guess that could be pretty cool. Um, that's about it. So, uh, I don't really know why else I'd really get an Xbox at this point. Look at, I mean, PlayStation's showcase was spot on. Granted, a lot of the games they showed were very, it was very deceptive because a lot of the things that they showed were cross platform, some even not just for PlayStation 5 or next gen, some coming out on the current gen consoles, but. They had a really good showcase. They showed some really cool games. Yeah. Uh, so Xbox has to, like, blow the roof off the place. Yeah. And I feel like they have one ace up their sleeves, potentially. It's a future topic that we'll talk about later. Um, but I don't think they'll have that ready for the Xbox showcase. And I just, I don't know what else they could do. Like, I want to see Halo gameplay. That'll be exciting. Yes. But... For me, like, I'm probably getting an Xbox no matter what as a content creator. That's, like, that stuff that it's just what I got to do, right? If I was a general consumer, would I be currently invested in potentially forking over five, six, seven hundred dollars for a Series X mm -hmm. just for Halo, maybe Hellblade 2? I don't think so. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah. I don't know what they're going to do. That leads nicely okay. into it. Yeah, yeah. He's waiting. Here we go. Oh, so now, now, now you can put it a lot less politely than I did. <laughs> in, in all honesty, it's it's not even like it, that intense. So when it comes to that, when you're talking about the Halo, like are people going to buy an Xbox show? I am one of those people. I literally only bought an Xbox every generation specifically to play Halo mo uh, Story. I didn't even buy live. I never played multiplayer. I just play Halo Story. But yeah. that's all on the PC now. There is no reason... Yeah for That's almost true. anyone to get an Xbox. And I think I think Microsoft knows that. I think Microsoft doesn't care about their console this this next generation. They're putting out basically just a, a high-powered PC. That's all, that's what they're doing. They're throwing out there. Then they're going to work on xCloud. They have their Game Pass on PC as well. They're pushing yep. to have everything on PC now. They realize they're even their games are going to Steam now. Yeah. Like they they don't care. They're taking the approach of we don't care where you buy the game. We just want you to play our games which means they don't care if you get an Xbox. So, Microsoft yeah. themselves have already given up on the next generation of consoles themselves. But my Why thing is, if they if they player? already gave up on the next gen of consoles, then why would these rumors about Scarlet come forward and them having, you know, um, oh, Oh my god, I like woke up really late today, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest. So my you words <laughs> are like not coming to me. But um what is the delivery? Oh my god, smart delivery, right? Smart um delivery, yeah. why would they have that there? Like if you're putting out a console, there's lots of money that goes into the investment of it. There's lots of jobs that you have to hire, more money, lots of marketing, and I feel like it wouldn't be smart if they already gave up on the console market, it wouldn't be smart to invest all that there. Well, it doesn't, I mean, like, I didn't, clearly they're not investing that much. I didn't even know there was a spotlight or a showcase coming up. Like, they're clearly not investing that much into marketing if people well, didn't even know that it was coming up. They, 
They marketed it. <laughs> you're just not there. on not, the channel. Not you're you're not just not the they person they are marketing it to. People aren't. I just. I think people just aren't as invested in the Xbox brand to to look out for stuff like that. You know what I mean? I, mean, I don't know. To be honest, I, I didn't even know there was a new Xbox coming out. And I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna. I was thinking, should I say? Like, I don't even know what's 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 going into this new Xbox. Like, what's? <laughs> yeah. Like, can you guys like give me a rundown on what they're it's, promising or it's technically technically the most powerful console like it's for i believe of from all consoles stats, that's yes. what they're well, selling it, it from as, what i yeah. understand based on the stats it's more powerful than the ps5 but it's so, like it's to the point where it's like it doesn't even matter you know mm -hmm. like they're so, both so extremely powerful right <laughs> this is exactly it though the the thing is that that's all it is is it's they're like let's throw a bunch of high power components into it yes yeah, unless there's something they haven't told us about this yet, they haven't done anything to optimize that. If you guys haven't, I know it's very technical, but please go watch the Road to PS5. I didn't watch it at first, yeah. and I because I'm like, ah, it's it's not going to be anything special. I finally watched it. I watched actually another game, uh, an engine developer react to it and explain, break things down. I highly suggest watching uh, that or just the Road to PS5. They have put they are they are actually going to change what PC gaming is with the PS5. What they've done is, um, to TLDR it really quick, is basically yeah. they've created their own um, controller um, that allow different levels of priority. Right now, when, when you take something off an SSD or a hard drive, it goes to RAM, then it goes to the CPU, right? Mm -hmm. The issue is that there's different levels of priority of what files get to go through RAM then to the CPU, and even that takes time. So they've created so many more channels with a custom controller, uh, flash controller, that's in the PS5 that allows that data, basically the SSD becomes more RAM. Mm -hmm. So they don't yeah. need as much RAM. That's why they're going, I think with 16 gigs uh, in the um, in the console, they didn't mm -hmm. need more because the SSD becomes RAM at that point. And that is something that even PCs don't have. At, just because you have an SSD in your PC doesn't mean you're instantly gonna get faster times if that uh, the controllers that's getting that data to the CPU is slower. The PS5 is going to change the future of PC gaming even, and the components you start seeing in, in PCs as well. The Xbox, it's just another PC out there. And again, I, I think the, it shows just with how many people didn't even know there was a showcase or even an Xbox. <laughs> oh, no, that one, I, feel like you're a fringe, I feel like you're a fringe case on that one. But like, um, no, I represent I, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, really, I really do think that, that Microsoft is taking a much different approach. And I think it's a smart approach, in all honesty. They're going to go for that, that cloud gaming. Um, I really do think that their approach is going to be smart. But it, I just think investing in an Xbox right now is just not the way to go. And I do want I, I to mention, agree. Honestly, like, the cloud agree. gaming thing I want to mention, because when Stadia came out, everyone thought Google would own cloud gaming and how that would work, but they haven't. So it is a great market for Microsoft to go at and explore and possibly be, you know, the front runner for when you think of cloud gaming, it's Microsoft. I do want to go to chat because a couple of people are saying stuff. So Cameron Winkler said, in my opinion, PlayStation is great at single player, while Xbox is great at multiplayer. Do you guys feel the same about that i yeah. i could see that i i one of the best things about the xbox for me is the social components to it mm -hmm. uh i think it's way easier for me if i wanted to right now hop on an xbox and invite a friend to a party i feel like it is way easier for me to navigate that entire process than it is on the playstation yeah um but i mean obviously like if you if you learn how to do it on the playstation it shouldn't be too difficult you know it's not like we're all cavemen yeah, like, we, we can figure that stuff out. But just, yeah, I, I like the social components a little more on Xbox, which is why, you know, if there's a cross-gen game and there's not too many exclusive pieces of content for the PlayStation, I just get it on Xbox. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, there's just no doubt that PlayStation is leading the, the market right now in exclusives and single player games. God of War, Spider-Man, Horizon Zero Dawn, like their library is insane. I do have to say, like, you brought up a really good point. I think Xbox does really have, like, their social aspects, their whole community aspect of Xbox. Like, under that brand, I think they do way better than PlayStation. Like, even to share a freaking clip on my PlayStation, like, if I'm playing Warzone, it is such a headache. Like, I really hope just Next Gen in general makes show like showing your gameplay on social media much easier um just because yeah. when you know you're playing in the comfort of your bed you may not be hooked up to a stream setup to capture everything so that's one of mm -hmm. my pet peeves that i really hope uh next gen brings with it um simon rl says 
Switch going to break through with Breath of the Wild 2. Um, I just wanted to say that because everyone knows that I'm a huge Zelda fan, so <laughs> that is true. Uh, <laughs> Brody, I see you smiling there. <laughs> yeah, don't get, don't get me that I started on that one. Um, but I think I think what I, what what to to basically summarize how Sony is approaching this and and how Microsoft's approaching it um, is that Sony's approaching it almost more in a Nintendo way, whereas. Nintendo looks at every console as a way to innovate and a way to change something or come up with something new. There's always yep. something special about a Nintendo console. I think Sony sat down and said, I mean, you look at the PlayStation 3 even. that had the cell processor that was used in so many different servers. It was an incredible – it um, basically started Folding at Home, which is um, uh, that program that allows um, proteins uh, to be folded across everyone. It's like basically uses everyone's computer to um, – do science and stuff yeah. so like you know the ps3 was that the, the ps4 was pretty much just a, a high-powered pc they didn't really do anything and even they themselves admitted that that wasn't something that they can really hold in high regard when it comes to creativity so they took a step back and went to the drawing board and said what can we actually do to try to change the industry and mm-hmm. it's the same thing as i said nintendo does they they looked at this console to to go back to what consoles used to do yeah bring cool tech into the average consumer's hand and I, I really think that Sony took that step of creativity. They did it with the internals, and that's why it's not as flashy. You you can't really market that as well. It's really hard to explain that to the to average person, but they did that. And I, I think that that step alone puts them uh, 400 steps ahead of, of where the Xbox is going to be, um, mm-hmm. just because they, they took the spirit of what a console should be and, and built off of that. Um, Dope Spill Gaming, or Dope Spill Gaming says, I wish Microsoft wasn't... In- uh, too concerned with 4K gaming. And I think that kind of goes along with what you uh, said, Brody. I can't believe I'm agreeing with you, but like how PlayStation <laughs> is taking that Nintendo approach and they're not just thinking about graphics. They're thinking about what hardware they're putting out there and what games they could create to support that. And I think that is something that Microsoft needs. They need those first you know, party titles that will have that exclusive brand on it to make people want to get uh, Xbox, right, when it comes out. And, like, just to point, like, behind the scenes, we had a conversation here because there's rumors that PlayStation is putting out news about the price of their console very soon. In, like, nine minutes. In nine minutes. And I have to say, a couple of us have that, like, PlayStation's Twitter up right now because we want to know the news and uh, Caboose wants to order it. So I think that tells you a lot. Like a lot of people are waiting for that news to break and they didn't even hear about the showcase. So like it's very unfortunate, um, but I guess that's what it is, right? Maybe people don't care about the showcase right now. I mean, yeah, maybe they themselves don't care. (laughs) Honestly, it's the the problem too is that like, we know games look good on these consoles. They've yeah. looked good this console generation, you know? I don't need to hear game will look good on Xbox Series X. That's just, that's not <laughs> the self. Like, I know that's going to happen. I played The Last of Us Part Two, not even on a PS4 Pro, and I was in awe for, like, 90% of the game because of how damn good it looks. Yeah. And that's on a PS4 right now. Yeah. So I know games are going to look good on the next console when they got crazy hardware in there. So mm-hmm. I think the problem was was that Xbox was like, this is going to be the big sell. People are going to buy our console because of this. And it's like, I, I don't know. The only upper hand that they can have, speaking of the PlayStation price potentially being revealed, the only upper hand that they can have is if their console costs less. But how That's much less? Only- how much less, right? Like, I if it is know. $100 less, do you think people would just be like, all right, I'm going to save $100 for the next month, so I instead of getting the Xbox, I'll get the PlayStation 5, right? Like, I think it has to be a drastic amount of difference between yeah. the two consoles in order to really just sell your console because of the price point. But, but at the same time, you also got to think, um, a lot's been happening this year. Yeah. <laughs> this, this has been a crazy first seven months to the year that I'm sure nobody expected. And with that, I don't think a lot of people, you know, people have been out of work, this, that, and the other. Yeah. So you also got to think in the general consumer's eye, do I buy brand new console that's $700 or brand new console that's $600? I don't think that that's going to be the massive difference maker. Like, I don't think that's going to make Xbox Series X sell more, but I do think that it'll give them a little bit of a fighting chance mm-hmm. when those consoles release. I also think at the same time that these consoles are not going to sell as crazy as people expect, considering what I just mentioned. Yes. But 
I guess that's just a, a wait and, and, and see scenario. So Stealth Gamer uh, 26 says, what are some things that you guys would like to see Xbox do to get the Xbox Series X, the to give, sorry, Xbox Series X the upper hand to the PlayStation 5? It's, it's funny you mentioned that because our next topic kind of goes into that. Um, <laughs>